Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Taylor and today we're going to be creating this cinematic look right here and I think this looks really cool. You can do this for a bunch of different things. If you're doing vlogs and stuff, you can add some b-roll and some interesting footage to kind of highlight your experiences and what you're doing throughout the day and where you're at. So um, I have this clip right here. One of the main things that I would recommend if you're going to do this cinematic look is shooting in 24 frames per second. Just because of old TV standards and stuff, everything that is you know in film nowadays is shot in 24 frames per second or at least converted down to 24 frames per second so that it can be put on the big screen so this is shot in 24 frames per second that's what we're going to be working with today it's just what looks the most cinematic to us and um, without wasting too too much time I'm just gonna jump right in I'm gonna click over here in our project and new item we're gonna add an adjustment layer drag that adjustment layer on top and we're going to add a Lumetri color effect to this so just go into your effects and type Lumetri color and drag that onto our adjustment layer you can do that right onto the footage if you like if you would like but I don't think it looks uh, as clean on the timeline if you want to you can go through and edit your original clip a little bit better later on the later down the line so we're gonna go into Lumetri color and into the creative tab right here just click on the arrow and we're going to go into our look and we're going we're <laughs> and we're going to apply a LUT if you don't have any LUTs downloaded on your computer or you don't have any saved go ahead and check the description I'll have a ton of different videos where you can download LUT packs I'm just using a LUT that I found online so I'm gonna click browse and I have this one saved right here I think the Sam Colder one looks pretty good you kinda get that uh, you know teal and orange look that you see in a lot of movies gives it really dramatic feel um, if you look really closely though in here under the bridge and stuff we're starting to lose quality especially if you have like a really high intensity you start to lose a lot of quality so I'm just gonna kick back this uh, intensity to about 50 and let's see how that looks I think that looks really good um, yeah I think I'm just gonna leave that there and next we're going to drag another adjustment layer on to the timeline and this adjustment layer we're actually going to add a crop effect to so just type in crop drag that onto the adjustment layer and the reason we're adding a crop is because if you watch movies and stuff everything is 21 to 9 aspect ratio whereas if you're shooting with your phone or you're shooting with your DSLR or mirrorless camera it's probably going to be shot in 16 to 9 so we're just going to add some black bars ourselves and on the top anywhere from 10 to 12 is what I find looks really good so on the top 10% bottom 10% um, I think that looks really good especially for this clip it's not too exaggerated whereas if we did like 12 it would be a little more pronounced so I'm just gonna leave it at 10 and I think that looks really good you can leave it like this if you'd like uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of movement and stuff to the original clip so to do that we're just gonna click the original clip go to motion and we're gonna mess with this position right here so go to the very beginning add a keyframe and I'm actually gonna raise this up a little bit just to where the crop starts and then I'm gonna go to the end and I'm gonna lower it down just to where the crop starts and this kind of gives it a little bit of movement other than the sideways movement it also adds a little bit of linear movement as well almost like it's shot on a drone or a helicopter or something like that it's just a little bit of extra you know creativity to the shot it adds a little more so if you guys like this video I'm gonna do a lot more with this clip in particular adding like vignettes and different effects like that so if you'd like to check that out make sure you subscribe and leave a like and tell me you know what else do you want to see done to this clip there's a lot of different things that I have in mind but what do you guys want to see do you want to see transitions and stuff I feel like transitions are so prominent right now I just got something in my throat uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video